Finally here tonight's Heart of America, and we meet the NASA scientists who repaired a spacecraft from 15 billion miles away, the Voyager 1. Now that's what we call longevity. Despite the two Voyager probes having journeyed through space for 47 years, their pioneering research mission continues to thrive. As is widely known, these identical sister probes have crossed the boundaries of our solar system and made a series of astonishing discoveries that leave even the most seasoned astronomers in awe. But what hidden structures truly exist in the depths of interstellar space? And what about the mysterious magnetic wall detected by one of the probes? These questions are likely as fascinating as the event that took place in October 2022. That's when Voyager 1, which had been journeying through space for 45 years, was struck by the most powerful gamma burst ever recorded. However, alongside this intense force came a cosmic mystery. The burst and its aftermath didn't align with our existing models, leaving experts to grapple with an event that defied explanation. From today's perspective, it seems almost comical. When Voyager 1 and 2 plunged into the vast expanse of space on August 20th and September 5th, 1977, nobody suspected that this was the starting signal for one of the greatest success stories in space travel. No wonder, after all, the originally predicted mission duration was just five years, and the probes were actually only supposed to collect new data about the outer planets of the solar system and their moons, which had so far remained largely unexplored. After the spacecraft captured the first, and in some cases, unique images of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, NASA made the decision to extend the mission allowing the Voyager probes to continue their journey toward the edge of the heliosphere. After a few decades of waiting, Voyager 1 reached the Sun's protective magnetic bubble in 2012, followed by its sister probe six years later. This marked the first time a man-made object had traveled so far into space. In terms of distance, the spacecraft have now traveled an astounding 24.8 billion and 20.7 billion kilometers away from the Sun. Conversely, the probes also gave Earth-based scientists a unique opportunity to study the extreme edge regions of our home system at close range and to directly explore how our sun interacts with the particles and magnetic fields outside the heliosphere. However, since Voyager 1 had already reached this uncharted world six years before Voyager 2, experts were all the more eagerly awaiting the arrival of the second twin probe to compare the previously collected data with the new information. And indeed, the comparison immediately revealed a surprising similarity. Previously, experts believed the heliosphere to be asymmetrical, extending far behind, but data from the Voyager probes reveals a more symmetrical, or round, structure. However, the variations in plasma detected were much more pronounced. Before reaching the heliopause, the outermost boundary of the heliosphere, Voyager 1 recorded a significant decrease in plasma currents. As it crossed into the interstellar medium, the surrounding plasma was marked by intense turbulence. Based on this, the researchers suspected a thick but unstable boundary region. But the case of Voyager 2 was quite different. On the one hand, it took just half a day to cross the heliopause, and on the other hand, it was not confronted with the extreme plasma tides that its sister probe had encountered. The heliopause appeared to be stable and thin during this encounter. But what is it actually composed of? Experts suggest that the sun's influence plays a role. Since Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause during a solar activity minimum, it's likely that interstellar magnetic fields and cosmic radiation were able to penetrate deeper into the boundary of the heliosphere at that time. The intense activity during Voyager 2's passage could have helped stabilize the heliopause. Working alongside the powerful solar wind, and forming a massive magnetic barrier. However, this wasn't the only discovery Voyager 2 was meant to make in the outer reaches of our solar system. And where the probe detected something that had already been predicted on paper, the enthusiasm among researchers was boundless. Because apparently, there is indeed an extensive magnetic wall on our side of the heliopause, which acts as an additional protective shield against cosmic radiation. The magnetic field within this cosmic barrier is stronger than any previously measured in the heliosphere, and it seems to exhibit a highly dynamic nature. 
Experts suggest that the solar magnetic wall is formed by magnetic currents flowing toward the heliopause. The magnetic field direction of our host star will eventually reverse in the next activity cycle, causing the particles to subside and flow sideways, restarting the process but with opposite polarity. It's an intriguing concept, but we must remember that we are still far from fully understanding the enigmatic reaches of the heliopause and interstellar space. While the Voyager data indicates that the outer solar system and the interstellar medium form a complex system, we are still only observing two points within this vast system. In view of this, experts insist that follow-up missions are essential for a more revealing overall picture. However, this is still astronomical future music. But if we look back at this point and visualize the technology with which the Voyager probes have achieved their breathtaking milestones, their tireless efforts become even more astonishing, since said technology is now the state of the 70s. It can confidently be described as dusty, and you just have to realize that if you have a modern smartphone, you have a device with a memory capacity a million times greater than that of the Voyager probes. Moreover, the data transmission capabilities of today's mobile phone networks are nearly 40,000 times greater than those of the two older probes. However, recent developments highlight that even the most advanced technologies of the past eventually hit their limits. While unexpected communication disruptions have become almost routine for the Voyager probes, NASA has been implementing a stringent power-saving strategy for several years to help prolong their operational lifespans. Gradually, non-essential components of the spacecraft are being turned off one by one. For Voyager 2, this process recently included the shutdown of its plasma sensor. Meanwhile, Voyager 1's essential instruments remained operational as of October 2022, allowing it to be the first to report a remarkable event that sent shockwaves through the scientific community, the most powerful gamma burst ever detected. When Voyager 1 was speeding through interstellar space, its instruments sounded the alarm. Its systems did indeed report an inexplicably large influx of high-energy radiation, and if you like, the probe acted as a harbinger of an unimagined spectacle that was to hit Earth 19 hours later. The gamma radiation recorded was so intense that nearly all of our observatories, including NASA's Swift and Fermi telescopes, were immediately overwhelmed. It quickly became evident that we were witnessing a gamma-ray burst of unparalleled magnitude which would later be featured in a special edition of the Astrophysical Letters. This event was respectfully referred to as the brightest of all time, or BOAT for short, and was officially designated as GRB 221009A. The record-breaking event swiftly prompted a crucial question. What on earth caused this intense eruption? We were witnessing a phenomenon with an energy of 18 tera electron volts, making it 70 times brighter than any eruption ever recorded. And that was just the beginning. The eruption also produced a rather strange jet of radiation that pushed the current models of the afterglow of such events to their limits. More specifically, the astronomers uncovered a new component in the radio range of the jet that left them completely baffled. But other ranges of radiation also exhibited strange anomalies. Among other things, the jet appeared to be unusually strong, focused. In April 2024, astronomers were finally able to identify the origin of the record outburst. But the bottom line was that this finding only raised more questions. The radiation, which was so powerful it even altered the Earth's ionosphere, didn't originate from a massive mega-explosion, but rather from a surprisingly typical supernova. This is what follow-up studies using the James Webb Telescope's high-resolution near-infrared spectrometer revealed. But how can a seemingly ordinary stellar death trigger an event that, according to researchers, happens on Earth only once every 10,000 years? This remains the key question, though one that has yet to be definitively answered. Astronomers believe that the intense gamma rays may be linked to a unique type of explosion. When rapidly rotating massive stars collapse, they create focused particle jets that travel through space at nearly the speed of light. If these jets are exceptionally narrow and concentrated, they generate an especially bright and high-energy beam. 
Due to the fact that the jet in this record-breaking outbreak had one of the narrowest jets ever observed in a gamma-ray event, scientists hypothesize that the energy from the supernova may have been focused in a similar manner. However, the origins of our jets are far less enigmatic. Hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up to ensure you never miss one of our new videos again.